What I worry so much about with my own daughter and what I see in the research is that you turn the kids off to the work because it feels like a job. Kids are under tremendous pressure to succeed in school. That we take every last bit of joy that they might find and we add a sense of dread, a sense of high stakes, a sense of risk. It's either Yale or jail. That's the terrible, a terrible dichotomy that we've created for black children. Um, but I, I feel your sense of risk there because you, you probably know the statistics about black kids. If we want to think about the ways that achievement gaps manifest, we can start in early childhood and trace all the way through. There's virtually no place in the country where in a regular public school system, racial groups have the same test score patterns. There is plenty of evidence now that these test scores are not written in stone and that they do improve over time. My belief is that if we do the work we need to do, we can close most of those differences, if not all those differences. A big piece during the elementary school years is going to have to do with how kids spend their time outside of school. There are big differences by the middle of elementary school, particularly by around fifth grade, and how much reading students do at home. And so we needed to work in communities on home leisure reading. You want to create that love where academics and reading and books and explorations are a respite, are a sanctuary from the outside world, where you connect that and associates that with great pleasure rather than something they have to do.